Hey guys, Maddie here. I wanted to share with you this really cute day book that I recently made. I'm going to send it off in the mail and I wanted to share with you really quickly for my girls on the um, Facebook group that I'm on. Hi girls. Um, but let me just show you quickly what I used. I used the um, Recollections brand um, kind of knockoff of the Amy Tan um, sketchbook collection. So I used these papers. I'm sure you've all seen them. Um, I used a good assortment of some washi. Um, Smash. This is Smash. This is Michael's. Um, I think I got this on two peas. This is from, I think, I don't know what store this is from. Qtape, maybe? Dot com. And this is from Downtown Tape. Um, so a bunch of neon bright colors to match with the collection and then some black. So these are the washi tapes that I've used throughout the album. Um, this is going to go as a gift. So along with the, um, the day book, I included my favorite Mickey, or Recollections Little Alphas. It has lowercase, uppercase, and um, numbers, and a couple symbols. Um, so hopefully she can use these to title her pages. I included a smash pen so she can journal and then not too sure I've never owned one of these so I don't know how well the glue is but hopefully um, the glue will hold and be able to sickle her photos down and I did include a little shipping tag of some sample washi tape so um, if she wanted to add you know more washi tape because there is a lot in here um, she can do that um, I dyed my seam binding myself with um, Stampin' Up's classic um, um, re-ink Taken with Teal. So I use this to dye my, to my seam binding. Um, this album is full of washi tape only because um, she had sent, she, um, she plays professional ball and she's a coaching at um, our old university that we played at together. Um, when she was in Japan, she sent me a box full of washi tape from Japan and I was so excited excited, and it was awesome and um, you don't get that kind of tape here in the states you know online and stuff so it was pretty cool and um, this is kind of like a thank you to her um, for doing that for me so let me show you really quickly the album um, this is just some craft paper I cut um, adventures and um, polyland in with my silhouette cameo her last name's um, Polly so we called her that in college and um, I thought it was kind of cool the little title but you just hear some scrap washi tape and my favorite stickers I reinforced the binding with some the smash washi tape I sewed the seam binding on the cover and the back then here's just my little cluster of washi and my created by so here's the front page, um, just little cutouts from the paper, some scrap paper. I have a bunch of little clusters, almost on every page of scrap paper and washi tape and some punch outs and stuff. I sewed all the papers and I doodled most of them. And there's that little cluster. And there's those cameras. And I tried to put camera on each, you know, page when you open it so didn't do much just reinforce the binding right here there's my little camera on the little cluster of scrap paper there's this one I love this paper some scraps this is tiny tiny strips from this um, border paper there's them on the bottom too there's some scrap craft paper my little cluster and there's that one I didn't do much to this page because it's kind of busy, so I left the busy pages alone. There's the pretty flowers and reinforce the binding. So my cameras. And these are the ones right at the edge of the paper, so this was like at the bottom, so I, I still use those. I didn't, you know, toss them just because they're not a full camera. I didn't do anything to these two pages because, like I said, they're busy papers. And there's that one. This envelope, I don't know where it's from. My friend Laura gave it to me. Um, but she gave me a whole bunch of neon 
bright colored envelopes and tags and stuff. And so there's that little cluster and just some randy washi tape. Random washi tape, sorry. And these, these papers I didn't do much to. There's my cameras, little flower washi tape. Love all the sewing in this book. There's that, just scraps. Again, scrap paper, washi tape. I love the zigzag and then the straight. The flower cluster, washi tape. Washi tape, camera, scraps. And camera and scraps and washi tape. So there's that. Um, like I said, I really like the way this came out. I really wanted to use this paper because it is so bright and fun and, and colorful. The only bad thing about it is that it's single-sided paper. And for a day book, double-sided is best because I did have, I didn't have a hard time, but, um, they are single-sided. So what I ended up having to do was I know just so this I just made a bow with the papers I um, glued it in the middle with my ATG and I left the edges bare because I knew I was gonna sew them together um, so that wasn't too bad that didn't take that wasn't bad for my sewing machine but when I put the book together my sewing machine it didn't break or anything but um, it had a harder time um, putting the things together and I, I gotta um, figure out I love sewing the binding but I gotta figure out another way to bind my day books um, so I didn't I um, sewed like a, maybe three um, pages together and then I would sew like these three together and then maybe this last two and the cover together but then getting them all sewn together I think I just maybe sewed up to these parts. The middle, my machine probably couldn't go through the middle on its own. I would have probably broke my machine. So um, I just sewed um, the edges right or the ends right here. And it did kind of, that's why I reinforced it with the washi tape. It did kind of um, start ripping because it was just too many holes being cut and um, maybe not enough, the cover wasn't thick enough paper. Um, but another thing that um, I had, um, I was my fault, and I probably should have thought it out more, um, is when I glued the papers together, I didn't really think about the design and where it was going to be placed in my book. And like, for instance, um, I had everything glued together, and I scored everything in the middle, and um, I'm not... I don't know the rules behind scoring and what's the proper way to do it when you score it, which way you fold it. So, um, like I had this scored with the black side up, for instance, and then I had this paper scored with the black side up. And if I put them together, it the two black sides were together, or I didn't I didn't think it out. So um, what I ended up doing with my scored pieces was I kept folding them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And even before I sewed them into the into the book the um the score line was some of them were already cracking because it was two thick sheets of paper um glued together so that was my bad with making the day book um i guess i gotta look up the rules between scoring which way you fold ballet side in or ballet side out i don't really know the best way to where it won't crack but um i'm sure if you use a double-sided sheet of paper you're not going to get that um so using two single-sided sheets. I wouldn't recommend it if you're going to include so many pages. Um, but I think it still looks cute and it's still going to work and um, it's alright. Next time I'll, you know, do something different. I'll definitely use double-sided paper from now on. Um, but I really wanted to use this paper so um, I thought it fit her and her style and personality so um, I really wanted to use it. But that's my only tip for um, for making these day books. They're super fun and super fast. I, I made this really quickly um, and I love the way it came out. So um, if you have any questions just let me know, leave a comment and I'll try to answer them and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, sorry I'm back. I forgot to show the card that I made along with the gift. 
Um, this is all scraps that I had after I finished the day book. I used some washi tape. This tag is from the paper pad. They have a sticker sheet and um, here's a sticker sheet and here's some die cut tags. Really pretty. And I don't think you get these with the, um, the real Amy Tan American Crafts. You can buy the sticker book in itself. Not all the stickers on this sheet are in the book. I think um, maybe like two or three sheets from the American Crafts book um, you don't get with this one, if that makes sense. I don't think I said it right. And you do get one, two, three, four vellum sheets. And I just thought of, I didn't, I forgot I had these. I could have used one of them for the cover. Oh well, next time. But yeah, so you get um, four vellums and then the two of each pattern of the pattern paper. So here's my card. Here's a tag that I used. I outlined it. Outlined the card, washi tape, all the scraps from the day book that I made. And those, all except the orange one, I think these two are cut in the middle, so I just spread them out. Um, inside, this is washi tape. The orange thin strip is from Michaels. Um, just um, we'll cut out heart. A flower little cluster thing from the paper. I'll write her a little thank you note. And um, made by me with some washi tape. And I outlined all along the card. So there's my card. So she'll get that and that and her little goodies. And I hope she likes it. I'm going to try to make her send me some pictures of some of the pages that she created. So, um, Bye again. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.